Good, 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 good. Yep, slow. Oh, passenger, passenger. Keep going. Okay. Screw that, dude. I am not doing that. Really? Dude, hell no. That was nuts. I think it'll be easier for you. <laughs> Keep going. Get the heck out of the way. Hey guys, welcome back. It's another day in Moab. Actually, uh, almost another night. It's getting dark. And uh, Anthony and I are gonna head out on Porcupine 4x4 Trail. I've never heard of it, but it doesn't look too difficult. And that's why we're gonna make it a night run. I don't know uh, if I'll be able to get much good footage at night, but if anything exciting happens, I'll try to capture it. All right, made it to Porcupine 4x4 Trail. An icy downhill. What could possibly go wrong? This is going to be Ken's 20 point turn. Just a little rough spot here. It's hard to see because it's nighttime. You're good. Good. Yep. There we go. A little stretch there. got a rear locker. That's not on. <laughs> I can't turn mine off. Nice. So Anthony drove up Baby Lines back and he couldn't climb the hill back to get to the other side. So he's got to drive through this really deep water crossing and uh, it's got a layer of ice on top. So this should be interesting. All right, go for it. All right, I'm hanging on. Here we go, this is pretty deep. It was up to my front bumper yesterday, so. You're going for a swim.
Well, that was Porcupine 4x4 Trail. Not too technically difficult. Lots of ledges and uh, things like that to drive over. And uh, in the daytime, I'm sure it's really scenic. There's lots of big cliffs. It was a little narrow in a few spots, which is a little scary because I'm still getting used to the width of the FJ. It's really wide now. Anthony said I was pretty close to the edge a few times. So uh, I'm also very scared of heights and uh, cliff roads like that. But anyways, uh, that was fun. Tomorrow we'll continue on some other trail. I'm not sure exactly which one yet, but we'll see you then. All right, guys, it's a new day. Uh, that little night run last night was pretty fun. Today, Anthony and I are gonna try Steel Bender. It's a new trail for both of us, and hopefully it doesn't live up to its name. I aired down a little bit lower this time. I'm all the way down to three PSI. So hopefully that gives me a little bit more grip this time. Look at the trees on this trail and water. That's amazing. Pretty cool. We've stumbled upon a broken down truck. We're gonna haul this guy out of here. So it's not too hard so far from where we came. So if we can't get him started, we'll drag him out. I guess he just had a dead battery or something. I'm not sure. We gave him a jump start and there he goes. It's still I'm running. So, yeah, <laughs> we might see him again later. Who knows? Bumper. Yeah, yeah, you'll make it. There you go. Is your rear locked? Yeah. There you go. Good.
that was a good little climb it's uh this is a great trail it's beautiful we're down in this uh gorge right now so liking it so far Your front locked. Driver. Driver. Yeah. Oh, you got that. No problem. one of your legs oh great some tiered steps here it looks pretty easy but it took a little bit of effort Let's see how anthony does here he'll probably show me up <laughs> draw your front locker he doesn't have a front locker good Come passenger a little bit. Ah, it's a little slick. If anything, if, if you're gonna do anything, go passenger. No. Ah, the same thing. So head passenger. Ooh. All right, there you go. It's just a little slick. Oh boy. How'd it die? You got that. All right. Yep, could use a locker there. <laughs> Uh, so far, so good. You're gonna touch a little bit. Oh, not, oh there it is, yep. There's the bottom. All right. All right, so I guess this obstacle is called the wall. The wall. So, I'll give it a shot. It doesn't look too bad. You got this? It'll be easy. Yeah. Probably. Most likely. There you go. Driver. There you go. There it is. Yeah. So this obstacle has an easier line to the left and over there to the right, but Anthony is kind of a daredevil, so he's gonna He's going to take on the big main obstacle. See all these cars. <laughs> yeah. Uh. He's going to stick his tire right in that crack so he doesn't fall into it. Go passenger a little bit. Passenger. There you go. Now you're in it. There you go. No problem. Except you lost a camera.
think she can she go down this way but he's not he's not having it so he's gonna try to run down this side here but i still think this is the way for him to go so we'll see what happens There you go, there you go, there you go. There it is. It's coming down again, slower. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Straighten it out. Perfect, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. You got it. Straighten it out. Yep, good. Good, 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 good. Yep, slow, oh, passenger, passenger. Keep going, okay. Screw that, dude, I am not doing that. Dude, hell no. That was nuts. I think it'll be easier for you. <laughs> Keep going. Get that out of the way. Oh my gosh. Come a little driver. That should be it, man. Good, come on. Yep, you got it. You got it. Good, good. Keep coming. Back end's about to come down. Should be nice and easy. Good, perfect. Should unhook those uh, straps. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, you're good, you're good. There you go, Ken. Yeah, perfect. Looks good. So I guess this ledge has gotten pretty washed out. So you got two options. You can drop off this cliff, which is about eight feet high straight down, or you can kind of come down this little waterfall, which is still pretty steep. It was a little sketchy for me. Maybe it didn't look like look that sketchy on camera, but it is. <laughs> so Anthony's pretty, pretty nervous about it, but I think he'll make it. Keep coming. Slow. You're going to drop on your passenger. Keep coming. Okay, keep coming. Keep coming. Okay, now start going, driver. 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 Slow. Slow. Okay, keep coming straight. Pat, uh, oh boy. No, you're not off the ground. No, you're not, I can see both. Hang on. Uh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, keep coming straight. Come passenger a little bit. Okay, you're gonna drop on your passenger. Slow. Come passenger, 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 passenger. Okay, do, do it as much as you can. Passenger if you can. Passenger if you can. Passenger if you can. Passenger if you can. Passenger. Passenger. There you go. There you go. You're good. Wow. Woo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> that was the hardest part. Yeah, just just nice and slow. Slow as you can do it. Just let those brakes creak. Find the spot where they just creak. Keep coming. You're good. Keep coming. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, the back just came up a little bit. Come on. Uh, driver. 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 Driver if you can. Driver if you can. Driver. Driver if you can. There's the back. Now hold on. Hold on. You're down. 
Okay, you're good. Victory is ours. Yeah, barely. Don't you feel good now, Al? I feel great. If anybody's on 35s and FJ, don't ever do that. <laughs> That's probably good advice. Yeah. Straighten it out. There you go. Go. Okay. Good. Back it up and start more passenger. gonna go Ugh. there you go I think you got it now <laughs> yeah yeah I think so there you go oh my gosh <laughs> well now you're hung up on the skid plate over here or the switch uh, slider all right go, go for it go go the other way no. okay yeah that's it all right let me show you how it's done ken all right since anthony survived coming down the big giant cliff he thinks he's going to give this a shot even though i couldn't make it up i don't think i'm going to <laughs> you're going to okay let's get it <laughs> i probably hit the bumper and be like never mind well uh let's see yeah, you're gonna hit the bumper. There's the bumper. You got about six inches to go. Yeah. Well, there's that. <laughs> didn't quite make it. You know, if you didn't dig it all up. It's, yeah, it's my fine. fault. <laughs> I left a little orange paint on the rocks. I was saying to Anthony, if I aired up, I might actually have a better chance at that. Right 
passenger. Talking to the the people. The people. <laughs> yeah, try to go far right. Ah. Uh, yeah. All right. I believe these are called the witches' stairs. I could be wrong about that, but kind of makes sense given the shape of the rocks. Up and try again. Pulled all the way down here, but Anthony got himself off the rocks. It was uh, it was a little bit ugly, but he did it.
right, well, we made it to the other end of Steel Bender. Uh, so we did both Steel Bender Flat Pass and also the Steel Bender Loop. So it's been a pretty full day. We covered a lot of ground. But, uh, <laughs> and the, the delineator between the Steel Bender Flat Pass and the Loop was that crazy spot with the huge cliff drop off or the route that we took, which was also pretty crazy. So they're kind of broken up with that obstacle. So it's pretty difficult. It would be pretty difficult to do both going that direction because then you'd have to go up all that. And that would be, be tough. That would be pretty tough. <laughs> I'm sure it's doable. But uh, yeah, I didn't break anything. Yeah, me neither. Once again, uh, Anthony got a little bit of a little bit of damage on his exhaust and a little plastic. Yeah. But injured. nothing too big. Nobody flipped. Nobody flipped. No steel bent. And we did not bend any steel. We bent a little plastic. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's and not called nerves. plastic bender. Definitely yeah. Our nerves. Yeah, it was a little nerve wracking. But uh yeah, steel bender is awesome. The uh steel bender flat pass is just mostly a lot of medium sized ledges. Just a really fun trail. The whole thing, the whole steel bender uh route is just a great classic kind of rock crawl trail. Yeah. Pretty fun stuff. So Anthony and I drove everywhere the same after filling up last time. I used 11.3 gallons of gas. Anthony used 11.8. So you see, 42 inch tires make the FJ more fuel efficient. Yeah. Sure. Proof. Well, we made it back to camp. Uh, I'm sure that if we were just cruising down the highway, Anthony would probably get better gas mileage than me. But in terms of off-road miles per gallon, it looks like the 42s really didn't change things too much because I actually took a little bit less gas uh, than Anthony on 35s. So that's cool. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you can catch me every Monday and Thursday driving this beast on trails wherever I'm at. And we'll see you next time, guys.